Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred and Griffin? Jesus, how in the hell? The winners of the Dozen yes. are turning into big screaming hoggers. Yeah, boys! Yeah, boys! Yeah, the movie's called Get <laughs> Ponies pulling up. All right, it's the dozen match 67 of season four, match 403 overall. The oldest rivalry in the dozen has returned for the first time in season four. I was gonna. I, I was gonna preface how Keegs has never been on this team against the experts, but her, her and Brandon just got into a small tiff before the match. I Brandon mean, was for no shit. reason. What the fuck is wrong right with me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I'll tell you the reason. It's because Brandon's a big fat prick. I mean, clearly, <laughs> I thought we were cool, Brandon. What the fuck happened? Really, all I said was you were talking to somebody, and I said, "Is she gonna talk the whole fucking time?" That's all I said. I was talking to Jeff about the shitty program that we use for this. Something I'm sure you've done before, but God forbid I complain. God forbid. So, but I'm, that's on you, Brandon. I've never you want to start I've... off with that tone? That's on you. That's on you. Good luck today. To luck. be fair, Brandon wasn't talking shit to you. He was talking shit behind right, your back. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. Right. Again, that's on him. That's on him. I hope that it's, feels this, good. This is this is great. We haven't. We haven't had a good Chicago experts rivalry match in in quite a while. Um, last match of the week, Sunday night main event. Um, excited for this one. Experts nine one and one coming off a bounce back win. Chicago coming off a twenty two point win uh, against a, a, a tragic team this season. Uh, KFC Rudy and Jack McCarthy now zero and seven. One of the worst starts in the history of the league. Um, just got it was it was it was bad. Let's just put it that way. Um, it was bad, and it got it was it was bad, and then it got really ugly at the end. Um, but Chicago on fire right now, coming to this match six two and two. Also, PFT, we have to address this. Um, mm-hmm. I, was gonna, I was gonna say, are we gonna talk about PFT or? <laughs> Hopefully, people haven't logged off yet by being creeped out. PF, that is yeah. not actually PFT. That is his his artificial intelligence rendering because brandon can you turn your computer he is wearing his apple vision pro goggles welcome to the future soon this is how we're going to be hanging out all the time (laughs) doesn't it look awesome it is wild um he will be screen recording this uh i trust him not to cheat he will be screen recording it uh so i will and jeff i'd like to point out because i can see my face here my eyes are moving around the screen, but that's because this is a giant screen with all your faces and the board in front of me. So as my eyes move around, I'm looking at the dozen Riverside screen. I'm not on any other tabs right now, I promise. Again, You're good, yeah. Wayne. He, screen recording, everyone believes him. PFT's not going to cheat. Uh, I literally don't even know how those things work. I'm like, you could, how could he even see something else? Like, it's, it's just... He's finally achieved what they've been trying to break through in technology for years, and that is a yeah. You just don't get it, White Sox, Dave. I really don't. I really don't. I'm not. I'm not in the loop with with that at all. Um. Okay. Let's play some trivia. We already had a heated start. Why not get right into it? Uh, <laughs> Twenty four questions, twelve rounds of trivia. Twenty fifth being good the luck, Kelly. Chicago. <laughs> what? I said good he luck, said Kelly. Good luck. Oh. oh, I don't care what he says. He's he started <laughs> off the tone. I you know. Get Rank in, number Kelly. six. Here's the thing. You guys are going to win. You have Dave, who's going to cheat his fucking ass off. Oh, like my God. Facts. And and that's what's going to happen. So congratulations prematurely. It's good to hang out with you here, Kelly. Um, I will say when you get to the in-person tournament at the end, you all are going to fall on your fucking face like Dave always does. But anyway, let's have a good game. Let's have a good game. So funny, Brandon. I forgot. Three. Forgot number what? three. The what? It's what you forget. How funny you are. It's good to see you. Number six, Chicago. Make sure to vote for the All-Star Game. Uh, We have currently in this match four people who, if the voting ended today, would be in the All-Star Game. Fran battling it out with KB for the uh, top spot All-Star voting still. KB was baffled to hear that, did not like it. Uh, Here we go. (laughs) Did not like that he was. He was I, like, I, I don't would, know why. I would say that that's something KB wouldn't like. He, he goes. He goes. Just like he's just bothered. He was just like repulsed by it that he's. Yeah. Like, yeah. In the the fight for number one. Uh, reminder: KB will be playing Will Compton though 
uh, during All Star Week, Will Compton will have the ability to Google all the answers. That is one of the things we're going to do during All Star Week. <laughs> Which I, I don't know how much. Will said yesterday to me, like, I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. Um, here we go. 24 questions, whoever on the trivia, 25th being the bonus round. You have three lifelines. You have your double up, presented by Stella Blue. You have your double sip, presented by No Answer M Vodka. And you have your call a friend. The double sip, where you can answer a question two times, and the call a friend can be paired together, but you cannot use those on anything worth two points. So you can't use them up on anything that you've doubled up, and you can't use them on the niche category round, presented by Body Armor. Uh, two very different forms of media today in the niche, ca- in the niche category round. Uh, here we go. First category is going to be college football. Chicago will go first every time. The experts will go second. Uh, chief final answer person for Chicago still. He made it through the uh, <laughs> the debates over that position with Dave. And then Brandon, final answer person for the experts. Here we go. This QB played at Florida from 2000 through 2001 before transferring to Miami, where he started from 2003 through 2004. This guy's name is Brock something. I was thinking Chris Leak, but that's not no. obviously it. Uh, get Blutman, because you're going to give it to them if we if we give it to them. It's like Brock, and then something with a B. I don't want to use a lifeline this early. Well, you're going to give them a point. It's you give them a point, or you use a lifeline. Brock Brock Berlin. I don't recognize Brock. that name to be honest. Four. Brock Berlin, final answer. One nothing. How about that? Hell yeah. Chief. Hell yeah. Didn't give it to him, didn't use a lifeline. Other side to make it one to one. Playing for UCLA from 2003 through 2005, this QB had a big senior year, throwing 34 TDs and leading the school to a 10 and 2 record for the experts. Hmm. Brandon, you got this? No. It makes a thinking face when PFT's thinking. How does it do that? 34 touchdowns. Crazy. It's also a fake background for PFT for those wondering. I don't, I don't know this, PFT. Yeah, I'm not in front of artwork right now. Actually, uh, I am. I'm in the Mostly Sports Studio. That's Joe Namath. Oh, players. no, he's floating now. Uh, Five. <laughs> Five already? Yeah. Two guys to Sopo. Two. One. Kate McNow, final answer. That would have been my guess, but he was a little earlier than that, obviously. Yeah. He was like 99, right? Is this uh, uh, Hunley? No, he was too late, right? Yeah, he's he was – no. I don't know. Wild. Five. Just no, I don't, I don't know it. Three. Cade McNown, final. <laughs> Square peg round hole, see if it works a second time. Uh, you'll know, I think you'll all know the name. Drew Olsen. Nope. Celebrity mashup. (sighs) Double. No. Okay. Doubled up for the experts. You can't see that, PFT. What? You can't see your hand. Yeah, you can. We can't. There There, there it is. Uh, (laughs) Blur that out. I know. It blurs it out. They're taking away my First Amendment right to eat pussy. A couple (laughs) weeks ago. That's crazy. A couple weeks ago, the ice dog. Wow, it really does blur it. Oh, my God. Uh, Can you do like a middle finger or anything? Um, A couple weeks ago, David Andrews talked about M&Ms in this program, and they sent him a ton of M&Ms. We should just keep talking up the Apple Vision Pro. Maybe we'll all get one. Oh, it looks awesome. It's actually fantastic. It's my favorite piece of technology. technology. Um, Also, I'd like to point out real quick, M&Ms are Amazing. I love peanut <laughs> M&M's. I love M&M ice cream. I love everything about M&M's. Hey, Brandon, I hate you, but you couldn't be more correct. <laughs> All of ours brand candies are good. Chicago, celebrity mashup. Four, two, both teams undefeated this year, 29-0 and 0 combined. Name the two celebrities. Jesus. Um, It's uh, Elizabeth Banks, Billy Bob Jordan. Billy Bob, Billy Bob Jordan. Yep. I get half a point there. You, you were not needed there, Dave. <laughs> I said at the same time she did. That's that not correct. true. <laughs> two nothing to make it two to two. Experts double up presented by Stella Blue off the board. Here it is. Two celebrities. What the fuck? Ew. <laughs> so it's uh oh boy. Guys, my brain has been having some issues today. Hmm. You got this friend. 
Jessica Chastain and Michael Fassbender. Fran, Fran, yeah. Fran, 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 yeah. Fran. That is correct. Free continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. job, Fran. Thank you. Yes, you have to I have to that one too. How am I what? How, many, how are you going to write? What do you mean, how am I going to write? On the bonus. Uh, yeah, bonus rounds going to be real I interesting. I still write. Here. How are you going to hold it up? I MLB. Know. Know. We'll figure <laughs> that out. We'll figure out later. <laughs> Technology hasn't evolved to replicate pencil and paper yet. <laughs> Chicago, MLB. Chris Tillman was the mo- has the most wins by a pitcher since the year 2000 for this American League franchise. 35 seconds. Baltimore Orioles. Final. Three to two. That is correct. All lifelines available. Experts, you have your double sip and your call a friend. Here's your question. Ricky Nolasco has the most wins by a pitcher since the year 2000 for this National League franchise. 35 seconds. Marlins is my first. Uh, my first. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know this one. Do you think he's got more than Dontrell? Also, now I don't think Marlins. Ricky Nolasco. It sounds like Where a did he, did fake he play, name. Did he play for the Nationals? Did you call somebody? Not very well. Um, you want to call Clemmer? Absolutely not. I never want to call Clemmer. Five. Okay. Four. Four. Yeah, call Clemmer. Three. We're going to call Clemmer. They're going to call Clemmer, who's been right. on. He actually played well the other night, but honkers are, are in turmoil yeah, right now. Actually, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Chris Clemmer, here's your question. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess so. Ricky Nolasco has the most wins by a pitcher since the year 2000 for this National League franchise. The Florida Marlins. Shut up. Why are you never going to call me? (laughs) The Marlins, final answer. All right, trust yourself, Brandon. That was stupid. Correct. That was stupid. Three to three, call a friend off the board. Well, it was good to hear from him. Yeah, you guys also just oftentimes just use only one lifeline anyway. So here we go. Music, next category. Music. You want to double Chicago? You've been doubling all year. I think so, yeah. Why not? Sure. Doubled up for Chicago. Doubled up for Chicago. Here we go. Here's your question. 1992 song, title. 1992 song, title. Yes, it is. It's all you in heaven. heaven. Automatic cry song. Automatic cry song. Automatic cry song. Would you know my Final name. Chief. Final. So good. Scala Blue Double Up is correct. It's five to three. Other Maybe the worst make- strip club song of all time. Thanks for setting the vibes in here there today, Jeff. Make it five do you know why that song was made, Brandon Walker? Yeah, we do, Dave. It's That's why we're... Your old son died, idiot. Yeah. Sad as fuck, right? 1996 yes. song. I hate this motherfucker. 96 song for the experts. For you, I'm so loud. Crash. For right. you. Crash. Into wait, now wait. Is it Crash Into Me? Maybe. I think it's just Crash. I think it's just Crash, too. We both just thought Crash right off the yeah. bat, right? Yeah. I think we both, crash. our minds went just Crash. We could double sip and just get rid of all the lifelines. Because it's one of those answers. I would just go. I think it's just crash. I think I think Fran's right. Crash. Final answer. Crash oh God damn it! I fucking told crash you. Crash into, me. <sighs> crash into me. Final. Six to three. Wow. Huge. I swear to God, I thought it was crash. No, well, I, I knew it was crash into me. I really thought it was just crash. We all, all three of us thought it was yeah. crash. So I said it might be crash into me. So let's do this. Wait, Jeff, is it crash parenthesis into me? No, it's not even that. Oh, God damn it. Wow. I listen to the, the Steve Aoki, Darren Chris remix all the time. Yes. I it's a real thing that exists. That's not a joke. It's uh, a really good song. Oh, it, for for what it's it worth, it, he does pause and the single's crash. And that's kind of like a pause. Maybe that's why you thought that. Uh, here we go. Next category you know, I, is. I know how the song goes. Yeah. We how just thought it? it was crash. This is for Chicago. Congrats, Chicago, on the win. Yeah. After taking out UConn, Michigan State lost to the hands of the powerhouse UNC team in the 2009 National Championship in what city? 35 seconds. Can we call oh. Jeff Hello? <laughs> you can't. You no, know, it's a, once again a good ask, but you cannot. <laughs> oh, what's the name about, of the album, Jack apparently? Mac? Jack Mack? No, it'd be Riggs, if anybody. Well, Jack Mack's a UConn he fan. Would the, he, would know the, he would know the city. 
for the final if four. If anybody would know the city, it'd be Riggs. Oh, I don't know. I only said it because he's a UConn fan. You, ignore me. For, forget. I'm not. This is not my not my category. Sorry. Five, four. All right, three. let's call Riggs. They're going to call Riggs. You committed to Riggs, so I'm going to say it's Jack Mac. Absolutely would know the answer to this, but you're calling Riggs, so you're committed. Fuck. Can we call Jack Mac? You can't. You're call. You have to call Riggs. You can't call Jack. These are the weirdest questions about like what city was a game in. <clears throat> I'm writing down the answer because I know. Riggs. Why would Jack Mac absolutely know this? This is a UConn because fan. A UConn. That's a UConn that's, fan. That's what I said. Oh, I only yeah, said it four yeah, times. Yeah. <laughs> Like, which you, which you clearly laid out on the table. Oh, yeah. Kelly said it four times in a row. <laughs> Would you call Calling Reeks, though. Reeks is pretty good this year as a cause a call friend person. What are they doing? What's taking so long? If I saw you in heaven. Hey, PFT. Yo, oh, Hold on. All right, Reeks, you there? Yeah. All right. Dozen. You ready? Yep. After taking out UConn, Michigan State lost at the hands of a powerhouse UNC team in the 2009 National Championship in what city? Detroit. De- Detroit, Michigan, final answer. Seven to three. Thank you, Thank you Bobby. Thank you, Reeds. To make it seven to four. Butler's failed game-winning half-court shot to beat Duke in the 2010 oh, National Championship took place in what city? I don't I've, know the cities. Oh, I should have shut up and let Dave answer it. I almost did. <laughs> Do you know what, Dave? I have it's I have shut something. Fuck up. Nobody cares. Hold on. Brandon, use your phone a friend. I'm right here. I already I phoned a, a jackass. Oh, I mean, think final four cities. Minneapolis. Ten seconds. Indianapolis. I was gonna say, is it like Atlanta. Indianapolis? Five, four. I don't know. Three, two. Atlanta. Final answer. Well, I was gonna say Indianapolis. That I don't know. That's just what popped in my head. I thought it was like a home game for him, kind of. I don't remember that storyline. I was gonna say Houston. Yeah. Um. It was the the dude that played for was it Salt Lake? Um. Yeah. Five, four. You want to say Indianapolis? I, I thought that's what popped in my head immediately. So One, in, Indianapolis. Eight to three. Oh, my God. Michigan State played in Detroit. Butler played at home in Indianapolis. Yeah. That was the theme there. Yeah, my Movies kinda, next category. Movies. I felt like it experts. was Indianapolis. Biggest deficit so far this season, down five. I, we both said it. PFT said it. I said it. Yeah, and if Brandon would have said Atlanta, it would have been at, uh, Indianapolis because you were the last one to say it, Fran, and he would have taken that. Yeah. So Brandon fucks up again. Chicago movies. Identify this 2011 movie based on four frames from the movie. Oh, uh, this is a, the uh, um, J. J. Edgar. Yeah, so it, is it J. Edgar or is it who? No, J. Edgar. J. Edgar. J. Edgar. J. Edgar. Bad movie. That is correct. Bad nine movie. to three to make it nine to four. Same thing. 2011 movie. We bought a zoo. Oh, we bought a zoo. Great movie. <laughs> That's correct. Nine to four. That one's pretty That's easy. I mean, it's. That's a fun category. Four pictures of people buying like a zoo. A fun question for that one. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. They, they actually they Chicago Matt played Damon in, in what front the of a zoo. Could be. Yeah. Uh, that, like, that was pretty lopsided. Josh, I won't lie. <laughs> zoo. We've actually. You we've, guys got we've, crash into. That's our so third. True. We bought a zoo question. I believe that's the first time anyone's gotten it right. Here we go. Next category is the bonus round. Showdown bonus round presented by Amsterdam Vodka. Five-point lead for Chicago. Both teams have their double sip the rest of the way. That is it. Here we go. Big one for the experts to try and claw back. Time to make the donuts. Showdown bonus round time. Closest guest battle. Uh, Chicago, Chief, you're going to pick someone. And then Brandon will pick someone. They'll go head-to-head. Brandon, in a Brandon when I'm up, one. can you bring Close, the paper over to me and then I'll show it battle. to you? Yeah. Who's ever closer in the question gets a point. You cannot help your teammates. If you get All a dead right, on, yeah. you get two points. First team to three points wins the bonus round. Who do you want to have to go first, Chief? Kelly. Fran. Kelly against who, Brandon? Fran. Let's go, Fran. PFT, can you even see anything to like write on a piece of No. Like, yeah, I, I can know. see. No, I can see. Oh, okay. You can see in front of them, yeah. Yeah. Um, here we go. Crazy. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> so cool. Mm-hmm. 
total episodes oh, of the Cartoon Network series Dexter's Laboratory. Total episodes of the Cartoon oh, Network series Dexter's <laughs> Laboratory. I love that show. Get out of my laboratory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. Gosh, how many seasons have they did? No, Pens down in five. five. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Reveal Kelly. I said 78. I went Fran one, reveal. 125. Correct answer is 78. It's two to nothing, Chicago. Oh, wow. oh my what? God. <laughs> so this oh, yeah. is a, turning into a bloodbath. It's, not, it's just not our day. Not our day. Oh, yeah. 78 I blame, exactly. I blame the metaverse. Wow, that's crazy. Not our day. I, I blame that fucking thing. Yeah, I know. AIPFT <laughs> sucks. <laughs> All right, not out of it yet. It's two to nothing. Wow. Kelly, that's Peace, wild. what do you want to have going next? Did you have any idea, Kelly? Was that just a guess? No, I just guessed. I didn't think it'd be 100, and I didn't want to say 75. So I was like, I guess like 78 sounds good. Like, I didn't even really – I thought I would lose that note, like, in two seconds. PFT against Dave. (laughs) Oh, Chief, you take it. Thank you, man. All right. right. I like like Brandon going against – against chief PFT. against pft well if it even gets to that if you win this the bonus round's over I've number of floors of number of floors on the empire state building number of floors in the empire state building huh. call tyler o'day tyler o'day was one time on a team one match was he i didn't know that yeah okay jeff i wrote down my answer brandon's going to show it in front of his webcam when it's time okay Tyler Day was on a team with Jeff Nadeau and Owen. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, pens down in three, two, one. Chief reveal. 801. What? Is it 801 reveal. floors? <laughs> <laughs> you said 801 floors? Are you this motherfucker? What? Wait, what? Jeez, oh, 800, 800 floors. 800 floors. I don't know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Does it matter what I hold up now? I mean, I'm going to hold up. Just yeah, hold it. Well, what is it? Because you could get it dead on. What is it? You have to guess 91. Correct answer is 103. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I was thinking. 801. You were thinking Wait, how many? 800 floors. Yeah, I was thinking feet. And how tall is the is Mount Everest? Uh, 2,000 What it's worth, the, the oh, Burj Khalifa only has 163 floors. So eight times taller than the Burj Khalifa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move it along. Next question. Okay, okay. That's all right. That's all right. Tyler Day's office is on the moon. <laughs> Wait, yeah, just, uh, Two to one. Reason, it, would, it would help if I could read the question. We'll say that. Go Two to one. Nobody else, well, man. Yeah. four words long. <laughs> Brandon against White Sox Dave. Worldwide gross for the 2020 movie Sonic the Hedgehog. Worldwide gross for the 2020 movie Sonic the Hedgehog. If anyone gets it dead on, they win the bonus round. That would also be, obviously, the craziest guess of all time. Chicago, you win this. Bonus round's over. Expert, you win this. We're knotted up to a piece. <laughs> I don't think it did great. Pens down in five, four, three, two, one. Reveal White Sox Dave. I said 195 million. 195 million. Brandon. I don't have a big gap here. I got 165 million. Correct answer is 302 million. Chicago wins the bonus run. It is a route. Yeah. yeah. It's not our 11 day. to four. Nope. Not our day. The, uh, the Marlins. We have crash. Yeah. PFT, PFT AI is maybe she not. She gets 78 best. episodes. Like, how the fuck does she get that? Yeah. Hey, for the record, I would have completely guessed 103. And that's, I swear to God, I'll put my hand Nobody gives a fuck about what <laughs> you would say ever. Dave would have guessed it exactly on the Snacks dot. and candy. That's crazy. Snacks and candy. Swear to God. This is for Chicago. Snacks and candy. You both, you all. I actually think the worst, the most embarrassing part of this episode is. Uh, 801 floors. Yeah. That's Thank what everyone's going to be talking you about. Take yeah. points you know what? Hey, yeah. if, you want, if you want to take a point away from us, that's fine. Yo, get cocky. Get okay. <laughs> take a point away. In red wrappers, this chocolate bar brand has the words chewy caramel, milk chocolate, and crispy crunchies under its name. What candy is that? 35 seconds. Chewy caramel, milk chocolate, and crispy crunchies? I mean, it sounds like a... Is that 100 grand? Is that, is that, uh, right? that has like peanuts in it, I think. 
What are what are red wrapper candies? I thought crackle, but crackle doesn't have caramel in it. Um, chewy caramel. Five, four. I I don't know. Three. Crackles my two. would be my guess, but yeah. no, it's crackle it's final. I think crackle, but it doesn't have caramel in it. Yeah, good point, Brandon. <laughs> Is an echo? You're so smart, grand? Brandon. 100 grand. Uh, whatchamacallit? That's not red, though, is it? I don't know. That's like tan. I'm basically giving up. Five, four. 100 grand. Let's do it. Why not? That's a grand final answer. 11 to five. Oh. Maybe inching back. Buck around. Yeah. Buck around. Make it 11 six. Sorry. That's In blue and I... silver wrappers, this chocolate bar brand has the words dry roasted peanuts, rich caramel, and smooth nougat under its name to make it 11 six. Blue and silver. That's not Baby Ruth, is it? Isn't that white? Blue and white. Yeah, you're probably right. Is it? Is it? I don't know. Is it? It might be Baby. What'd you say? Me? Yeah. It it might be Baby Ruth, but I, I like you, thought it was blue and white, but blue and silver is close enough. Now I don't know what color that is. Five. That's our best guess. I don't. Four. I don't have anything yeah, else. That's the best guess. Baby Ruth, final answer. Eleven six. Back down five again. Quick don't two points. Around. Next category is a brand new category. It's called the Mandela Effect. <laughs> You're going to see what? three columns. Three columns. Uh, the way brand names are spelled. You're going to tell me the correct way in each column that the brand name is actually spelled. You're going to wow. see the right way and the way some people think it may be spelled. Here we go. Okay. This is for Chicago to make it eleven to a uh, twelve to six. We use our identify the correct flip? one. Identify oh. the correct one in each column. Okay, I I know. This is actually pretty good. Just say the number. Just say the number above or below the one you want. I All think. Right. I want to right, so- say. Two two one, but I don't. No, I think it's. I think it's one one. one, one, I think it's one one two. That's what I thought. Yeah, one is definitely double stuff on one. Do you want to double sip? Yeah, it's a good good one to do that. That's a good idea. One one two is what I think. Double sip. Double sip. Double sip percent. My answer, Vodka. What's your first guess? One one two. Fuck. All right. I think then maybe. I really think number one because I think double stuff only Five, has one F. Four. Yes. One, one, one. One, one, two. What? One, one, one. Okay. Other side it's for the steal. Two. Flintstones is definitely two. It's, it's Flintstones, be- right? One, one, so one, two, two. 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 All right. We got to figure out sweet tarts. Is it sweet tarts or sweet tarts? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's one, two, and then uh, we're guessing. I think double stuff has one F. Yeah, I think one, it's one, two. it's two, and let's all come to a conclusion on the third one. Five. I say one, two, mm. three. One, two, one? One, two, one. Two. Go for one, it. One, Incorrect. One, one, two, two. One, two, oh, three. God. God. One, Didn't. two. Flint stones? I've never. I, how are we losing these this motherfuckers? This is crazy. One, I had two, no two. idea. Yeah. The Flint stones. Flint Still down five. Five. Flint stones. Me. The Flint to make it down four. Wow, I never like knew it Flint. had a T in there. Flint, Flint Rock. I had no idea that it had a T. All right, okay, uh, one. Yeah, no, no. Two, no. Two, right? Oh man. Two one. Wait, is Looney Tunes T U N E S? It is right. All right, we're gonna double sip too. So, so just relax. So we're gonna. Okay. You think it's T O O in this? I think so. Okay, so we'll go one. It is cartoons. I think it's yeah. one, one, two. No. Is that how they spell fruit? Shit. Ah, <laughs> fuck. The god is here. <laughs> okay, I need your first like guess game, in. Though, well, now I'm confused about the first one. Five. Okay, all right, all right. Um, cool. one, one, two. Second right, guess. What, what, what How about I, two, one, two? Maybe I'm wrong in the first one. All right. Five. Yeah. Four. I think, I think first three. Might be, two. Two, one, one. 
All right, I know it's Fruit Loops because there's a thing in Breaking about it. The number two for Fruit Loops. There's a thing in Breaking Bad about it. All right, cool, Just cool. Fruit Loops. Loops. Is one, one. Two, two. <laughs> knows it's Fruit Loops. I think it's one, one, two. Same, same. One. All right, one, one, two. That's what I. Sorry, say what you said. One, one, two. Yeah. That's what we said, you idiots. Two, one, two. It's two, one, two. Oh, oh shit! Mm. Looney Tunes is that. Wait, other this one, yeah. is we're just PFT. Close. That was that was experts had a real shot there. It could have been eleven to eight. Two but still one five two point was the right one there. Yeah, I, I fucked yeah, it up. Shit. No, I you fucked it up too. Yeah. I thought you said two one two already, and that's why I didn't. I fucked that up. Here we go to make. I'm it. never gonna know the answers to those. I'm always gonna be confused about what Looney Tunes is. Looney Tunes T U N E S for breeze yeah. one e and or well, there's no double e. Yeah, for breeze that was locked. And yeah. then Fruit Loops uh, F R. Brandon O-O-T. Walker uses a lot of Febreze. F R O O. A lot of Febreze. Here we go. Look Next category you. is the NFL. The NFL. This is for. You look ridiculous. This is for Chicago. With 5,339 yards, what wide receiver had this career path from 1999 through 2013? Baltimore, Indianapolis, Denver, Seattle, Giants, Denver, Baltimore. God damn. Wow. That's a lot of teams. Yeah. I have a guess that's probably very wrong. If you want me to throw it out there, Chief. T.Y. Hilton? No. <laughs> Just a no. <laughs> um, I have a guess as well. Okay. Tory Smith? Ooh, I like – that's – I feel like that's – an answer in? Story. No, Tory Smith is two. Four. All right. Three. Tory. Tory Smith. For the steal. Brandon Stokely? Yes. Final answer. Mm. 11 to 7. What was it? Brandon Brandon Stokely. Stokely. To make it 11 to 8. Make it a three point game. I know. With 4,837 yards, what wide receiver had this career path from 2003 through 2008? And 2010 through 2012, New Orleans, Philadelphia, New England, Cleveland, Baltimore, Washington, New England. And in New England. Dante Stallworth, Jerome Payton. Ooh, wait. Dante Stallworth is correct. Final answer. Yes. That is correct. 11 to 8. Three point game, but only. Points Good work, Brandon. Only eight points remaining. Freaking Looney Tunes. <laughs> and the other one. Could be 11 to 10 right now. Mandela is stupid. Tough. This is Sex in the City to make it 13 to 8. All right, let's go, Kelly. I'm ready. To make it 13 to 8. Would not be over yet, but will be very close. Hey, guess it's like Presented by Body Armor. In Season 3, Episode 12, when her lawyer scares men at a speed dating event, Miranda gets a date after lying that she has what job? Oh, she says she's a, uh, a stewardess. Flight attendant. I think stewardess, Final. she says, though. Final. 13 to 8, five-point lead with six points remaining. To make it 13-10, the big, funnies. Kelly, big, Newspaper comics, yes. PFT. The funnies. The funnies. Launched in 1999, this comic is about a school age girl who has a friend named Trout and lives in an Ohio trailer park with her grandma. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> don't back up. Don't back up. There Why? Because don't let him talk to you. Like yeah. Go. I'll, do, I'll do whatever I want. Uh, school age girl who has a friend named Trout. It's an Ohio trailer park. <laughs> he looks like Floating Head. He looks like back to Marty McFly. If you miss this, it is over. Five, four, three, two. No more funnies, by the way. Wizard of Id. I don't know. No more funnies. That is it. Chicago with the win. Seven, two, and two. No, huge win. What's the answer? I can't tell you. The other side's trying to steal it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean. Uh, uh, The peanuts. Not not a clue. Dilbert. Silver, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Agnes. 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 Brandon, are you eliminating the funnies? <laughs> funnies is over. That's a hard question. 
Uh, the, the, but Funnies has hard questions. That's if a tough did, question. If we did that thing, you do it. It'd be, it'd be thirteen ten right now. That's you a tough question. Yeah, yeah. AIPFT to maybe not be may, may not be stank. Yeah, AIPFT sucks. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kicking Maybe his ass time back. Gary Walsh and Dan Egan were all supporting characters from this HBO comedy that debuted in 2012. Oh, Veep. 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 Final answer. Veep. 14 to eight. Do? Other side like to that. make it 14 to nine. Oh, Veep's the best show. So That's good. Yeah. That. Rosa Diaz, Amy Santiago, and Charles Boyle oh, were all supporting nine, characters nine. Fox later NBC comedy that debuted Brooklyn in 2014. Nine, nine. That Brooklyn is correct. Nine, nine, nine. 14 to nine, and then geography last category. We should have won this game. What is the least populated U.S. state that shares a My border bad. with Iowa? This is for Nebraska, Chicago. Kansas. It's not Missouri. It's not Minnesota. It's not Illinois, obviously. I'm going to say Kansas. Kansas. Kansas has a smaller population because Kansas City is in Missouri, technically. Nebraska, than the final Kansas. answer. It's, is it South Dakota? Dakota? South Dakota, right? South Dakota. Final answer. 14 How 10. Oh, they're, they made the There's fifth final score is going to haunt them. The- what is the least populated U.S. state that shares a border with Ohio? Uh, None of these see, are all West Virginia? Kentucky, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, Indiana. Almost certainly West Virginia, right? Yes. Kentucky has two major metros. Yes. Well, not major, but West Virginia. West Virginia, final answer. It's not always easy to figure out where the points were left on the board, but I can say I mean, with there's confidence a lot. There's we can figure that out today. There's, there's a lot to point that today. This mm-hmm. is a fluke. How's that a fluke in any way? Yeah. You can't even spell fluke. This, is, this motherfucker <laughs> looking at me. Nobody will believe me. Brandon, if you can spell fruit loops, you probably will have won. Yeah, no, we, we yeah. lost that one. We lost that one. We, That's lost. Yeah. we lost we didn't win. We won. Yes. Well, Kelly just pulling Dexter's laboratory out of her oh, asshole. That was that was a fluke. Well, it was also that was, we I lost. guessed eight hundred and one. question. We could have stole those. We fucked up music. We fucked up college basketball. What about Brock? Berlin? Yeah, you gave you gave away music in college basketball, and then yep. Mandela effect was right He's there. Uh, fuck, yeah, fucked fucked up the the specialty category, the niche uh, category. Where, where are you, uh, Dave and, and uh, Chief? I'm in the. I'm in the. 2K room. All right, I'll give you your handshake. Oh, he's going to shake their hand. He does do that now. He's now a, a handshake guy. What a, what nice. uh, yeah, AIPFT, I say, will you I'm ever not, return? Not going back to AI anymore. AIPFT sucks. It's, uh, <laughs> it's disorienting. I prefer the real world. Yes. Now that we've now that we've scared all of our <laughs> we scared all of our viewers. Uh, next week, three matches. You're going to get them on Tuesday and. Th- Wednesday, I believe. So there's a big mini golf event at Barstool next week. So we need to kind of time up when this is going to air, but it's going to air Tuesday and I believe Wednesday late. Uh, you have Gaza Soldiers now. against the Yak on Tuesday. Uh, on Wednesday, you have Team Minahan against Uptown Balls, uh, two former champions face off. And then the Ice Dogs against the Booze Ponies in the Sunday night main event. Sunday night main event, I believe. Okay, okay. Oh, give, 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 give. Oh, God. <laughs> Did Brandon just quit? Um, We've already recorded all those. We're ready to go. Uh, so three matches next week. Again, I'll remind you, I don't know when the All-Star Week is going to be. Uh, we're just trying to time it around events because we need to make sure everyone's not traveling when we record those. Uh, but All-Star Week, keep voting for it coming up. Go for the fan rankings. Uh, Chicago, definitely going to rock it up after this win. Um, probably. I Dave, did you just make Brandon tap? I, I did. I want to give him a compliment, though. Uh, this, this, he was m- either I'm way stronger than I thought, and I'm pretty fucking – it was a good compliment to Brandon. Yeah. Or he's much lighter than I thought. Okay. I, I just okay. gave him the Trump handshake, and he had nothing for it. <laughs> pulled him right in. That's it. I like that. Uh, Chicago, 7-2-2. Two, and two. Experts, only their second regulation in the loss of the year, 9-2-1. and one. Uh, Neither will be playing next week, but I know experts will be back the week after that. And Chicago will probably come up very soon. I think they're playing macro dosing next. Hey, Jeff, on what's, fire uh, right now. what's Team Minahan's record? 2-4-2, uh, two, and two, I think. It's crazy that they're the second seed. My hand was forced. Nobody came to my defense against Dave. That's say. wild. That's Nobody crazy. came public against my, to my defense against Dave. My hands were tied. That's wild. Um, yeah, we beat us. We beat us. Uh, right. Brandon just tripped over my virtual reality headset. <laughs> Him breaking it would have been probably the best cap at the end of the match. That's it. We'll talk to you on Tuesday night. <laughs>